Hi, welcome to MMO Crush. This is Brandon. I'm doing Vindictus gameplay today. We will start out making a character, just so you can see what the customization is like on that. Um, Kai is a swift and powerful warrior. Uh, we're just gonna go and make a character real quick. Obviously, it didn't give us any customization options there, but as we go through further into the game, it'll give us a name to give him and everything like that. I'm um, just loading up right now. This is extremely slow loading time right now. There we go. Alrighty, and this is just a prologue into it. We're going to get out of that real quick so you can see what it looks like when we actually get into the game here. This game is pretty fun. It has a lot of, a lot of different things that you can do. Everything's breakable in the environment. You can pick up, like if you break a fence, you can pick up a post from that fence and attack with that if you'd like. Uh, and this is how the questing looks. When you pick up quests and everything like that, this is what it'll look like. You just go into a room. They have silhouetted players and everything. And here's the customization that you can do. We're going to name this guy just name him Chubby. Just messing around with that. I'm not going to customize him at all, but I mean, as you can see, do different expressions, a couple poses, a couple different hairstyles, skin types, body types, everything like that. Alright, that name's being used. Something that I'm pretty sure no one has. Get into the game here. Um, Alright. Skip through all this, because this is a lot of nonsense to me right now. I'm going to do one instance for you. It's going to be a training instance. Uh, so it'll basically be like me fighting a bunch of... I don't know, like wooden dummies, I guess is what it is. Um, first, we got to get through all the questing area and everything like that, which is a lot of those pages, a lot of those screens that you just saw. Uh, always starts out super slow. As you can see, I mean, the visuals are pretty amazing in this game. Uh, let's Everyone doesn't look like the hooded guys that you see there. That's just because it hasn't loaded all the way up yet. Alrighty. We'll go into here real quick. That way we can get this quest and then just get into it for you real quick. As you can see, it's a lot of that. It's, um... A lot of quest text. Alright, exit out of here so we can just get going straight into it. Go to the docks. We'll be taking a boat to our first instance. Go to the Perilous Ruins. As you can see, there's hero mode, hard mode, and normal mode. We're just going to make a normal mode one real quick. I've never played an archer on here. Uh, you can create your own party, join parties if you really want to, but really no point in me joining one as I'm just trying to show you something here real quick. We'll just create it, the boat's being prepared, and then we'll be ready to take off and get out there. Look at that, it's ready to go. And it'll give you a chance to actually get on this boat. You can destroy everything. I'll show you what I mean by destroy everything. It's... We'll just start. Alright. As you can see, I just sit there and blow up a couple barrels. It'll show you everyone in your party what you got. And just blow 
level up everything. It's like that in all the instances also. Anything that you see in the environment, other than obviously walls, you can blow up. Um, okay. Let me see how this... It'd be really nice if you had a crosshair, I think, for this guy, but we'll show you how it's done here. Alright. As I said, it's a training place. And there's the dodging move. That's uh, done by holding shift. You can dodge and everything like that. There's your kick. Now you also have a secondary weapon that you can throw. That spear right there. Uh, you have to pick those up as you go through, though, or you you will run out of them, obviously. Um, once you're out of combat for so long, it'll start letting you sprint. Obviously, it takes a little longer for this one, but just exploring all here. Here we go. You just run through this one pretty quick. I mean, this is how the game is, obviously it gets much more difficult. This is the first one, but very good graphics as you can see. Everything's pretty point on. Um, it'll tell you to finish them, then you gotta like kick them out and everything. And here's what I speak of when I say you can pick up stuff. Um, you pick it up, you can hit them with it, you can do another attack with it, or you can throw it and aim with your spear and let me show you here boom and there we go um like I said, this is pretty good time pretty good pretty good game here uh just me myself not a giant proponent of the instance all the time but at the same time, you don't have people kill stealing you, because I mean, it's, there's no. It just takes away, I feel, the way to get to know people, or even start to hate people for kill stealing you. I guess, which I guess that sounds a little bit ridiculous, but as you can see, the main guy, his name is right up on the top there. Um, What you're going to want to do is when he gets close, you want to, like, dodge out of his attacks, obviously. And now he has a couple of friends here. And that's a huge hit, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hitting 71's normal, and that spear hits for 315, I think I just saw. Now, um... I killed him, it slowed down, showed you the animation of him dying and everything. And here's where you loot. Um, these are the money crystals here. You pick all those up. Uh, you also want to come up to him. You hit E, and that's how you loot things. And you're just pulling it from his dead corpse. And it tells you what you obtain as you obtain it. Um, there's a spear, as I probably used quite a bit more than I ever should have on that guy, but... Nonetheless, I wanted to show you everything that you could do with it. And here's the sprinting that I was speaking of that you can do. And I'm not 100% sure why I stopped sprinting there. But maybe you gotta... I don't know. But there it is. Battle cleared. You're ready to go. On to the next one. You go turn in that quest. You level up. Tells you everything you do. Completion bonus. Everything. Um, obviously going quicker will get you better experience bonus and everything like that can reattempt from here, you can save a screenshot of it, or you can just close it and then return to town. Um, that is basically Vindictus. Um, you will obtain other skills and everything like that. Headshot, critical hit, defense mastery, smash master. You can do anything like that. Uh, you do obviously get greater rewards for hero, hero mode and hard mode. Um, and as you go through skill tune-ups and everything like that, it's all done in the same type of windows that you get for the quests. Obviously, same with buying and selling of items and crafting. Um, there will be more up on the 
Vindictus page on the site. I will be posting more on that, what I like, what I don't like, and everything like that. Alright, well thank you very much for visiting MMO Crush. This is Brandon again. Have a good one.